this video is actually a follow-up to our my Tuesday night uh, class, usually knitting, but uh, we're doing a, a crochet class. And one of our projects is a bath mitt. Our bath mitt um, involves inserting a thumb. So I've gone ahead and knit all the way, or rather crocheted, crochet class. I've crocheted all the way up um, to the point where my hand fits inside the mitt. You can see it's right up to the uh, point where my thumb is. And now I'm ready to um, start the opening for the thumb. So I'm following my directions here in my, um, in my booklet. So the directions tell me to uh, chain three, which let me go ahead and do that. I'll probably at some point in time do a series of crochet classes, uh, uh, basic lessons um, to add to my YouTube channel, but I will, um, I'll probably continue to focus on knitting and maybe throw in some crochet um, along the way. Okay, so the directions tell me to double crochet in the next 25 stitches. So I've got my chain 3 and then 25 stitches would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 to this point. So I'm just going to stick a actually in the one next to it. I'm going to stick a marker there just so that I know that when I get to the marker I've done my 25. That way I don't have to count because, you know, I'm lazy that way. Okay, double crochet yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So I'll just continue all the way around until I get to my marker. I learned to crochet before I learned to knit, and you'll um, notice if you look at some of my knitting videos that I hold my uh, I tension my yarn when knitting exactly the same way as I tension my yarn when crocheting. And that's because when I was trying to figure out how the heck to hold the yarn, you know, being self-taught and working from a book with just some line drawings, not even um, proper pictures or photographs, rather, I, I just couldn't get my hands to cooperate. So I said, fooey with all of this. I'm just going to hold the yarn how I'm comfortable, um, which is how I'd been holding the yarn for a number of years crocheting and that's why I always tell people uh, it doesn't really matter how you hold the yarn as long as you end up with um, a fabric that you're satisfied with and as long as your shaping maneuvers your decreases and increases um, slant in the direction you want them to slant in then really however you're holding the yarn is exactly the correct way the right way for you. So here I'm come uh, here I am now on the last stitch. Okay, it should be 25. I'll remove that marker for now. Okay, now um, the directions tell me to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, and then I'm going to skip the next six uh, double crochets. And that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look at that. That's where my beginning chain is. So I'm going to join with a slip loop at the top of my chain here. Now we'll say get the um, hook in wherever you can get it in. And this here is the opening for the thumb. Now in round 15 I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, 
and I'm going to work in uh, each double crochet and chain around. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then um, and we'll talk about what happens next. Give myself some more yarn here. Two with some um, pretty soap. These make a great um, gift for grown-ups and for um, baby showers. You know, it's a, a really pretty baby wash and a nice soft cotton wash mitt like this is a great gift for a new mom. Um, I feel like I have an extra chain and that's just a weird stitch. Let me get in there. extra gappy there. Don't know why. But it's okay. I guess that was just how I was holding the yarn. Okay, I'm coming up to the thumb opening here. So let me just get all the way up into it. And I'm still double crocheting in each stitch around. And now that I'm up to the chain, I'm going to double crochet in each chain. Now later on we're going to be picking up on the back side of the chain um, when we pick up for the thumb. So uh, what I'm going to do, is normally I have you, um, whenever we're working into the chain, again your preference, but my preference is always to work into the back of the chain um, to catch that little bump that's there. That. But um, we're going to be picking up into this uh, twice. So I'm going to actually pick up through the center of the chain this time. Uh, so if you look at the V's here, I'm going to be pushing my uh, hook in there and just catching the back um, thread of the chain. And this is because I'm going to be um, picking up stitches in this chain a second time. So I will um, get across there and oops, double crochet, double crochet, yarn over, pull up, yarn over through two, yarn over and pull through two. So you can uh, remind yourself when I get to talking, I always default to a uh, single crochet because that just, you know, comes uh, off the hook. I don't have to think about it, but no problem telling yourself what you, or reminding yourself what to do. Okay, so uh, I should have six double crochets there. One, two, three, four, five, six and then join in the top of the turning chain. So there's the hole for my um, thumb. And then the directions uh, tell you to continue uh, for rounds 16 through 19 um, for the top part of the um, knit. And then uh, rounds 21, uh, 20 and 21 are going to be single crochet, and that's to finish off the mitt. But um, I'm not going to go through all that right now because I want to show you how to pick up for the, for the thumb. But what you should do at this point is stick your hand. Okay, so here's what we've got. Got my hand in there, and this is where the... I'm going to pick up for the thumb right now. And then the remainder of the rounds that you are going to bring the mitt pretty much pretty far up your wrist. So for right now, I'm just going to leave that as is. And I am going to uh, 
join in some more yarn at the thumb here so I can show you how to do that. Okay, so you're going to want to have the right side facing um, the outside of the mitt. We, we're not going to turn it inside out. And we're going to join our yarn in the first chain of the chain six space. Okay, so remember we had our um, six double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six. So our first chain space is going to be right here. Now, again, as always, you have a choice. You can pick up on the other half of your stitch there. I don't like to do that because it might leave a little, uh, it might leave it a little stretched. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up from my little, if you can see them here, my little bumps here. These are the back of the chain. They're usually a little tight, but um, I'll be able to get my hook in there. Like when uh, when I uh, crochet into a a chain to begin with, I usually work into these back loops to begin with. But because I was going to be working into the chain twice, that's why I opted to go through the center loop. You can see if they're tight in there. Sometimes I'll just go ahead and force my way in there. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so I'm just going to go in through the first one. Pull up my yarn. And chain three. One, two, three. I'm going to leave this um, hanging for right now. And I'm going to now double crochet in each of the six um, Uh, in each of the six chains here. So that was one. I'll find my next one. This is two. Like I said earlier, if, if um, you can just force your way through if it's really tight. Generally, it is pretty tight. You can just push your way through there. If you find that it's impossibly tight when you're trying to do this, it's okay to go through the entire um, the entire stitch or to catch the other part, the other half of the the other half of the uh, top of the chain. It's just my preference to get in there. Uh, the back of the, even if it's kind of um, annoyingly tight because it makes it a little snugger at the join there. one. You could also get a smaller hook if it's really tight for just to get through the stitches on um, at the join and then you can um, switch back to your working size. Push my way in there, get in there. There we are. 
like once you get in there the first time it gets much easier subsequent. Okay, let me just count. So I have one, two, three, four, five. And our last one. first. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six plus my chain three. Okay, so I'm going to now I'm um at the side. So you can see the the side of the mitt here so I am going to single crochet into the side here I'm going to go through the um, through the stitch as opposed to um, going around it because I don't want to open up a big hole there and then I'm going to uh, double crochet in each stitch across the other side of the opening here and you can see we're working actually with the um, outside of the of the mitt And when I get to the other side, uh, where I have the other, this here, the other um, double crochet, I'll do a single crochet in there as well. Okay, and now here I am. I'm going to do a single crochet again going through the stitch, single crochet, and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the, and at this point I'm going to turn my work because I, I want to be knitting around with looking at the outside of the mitt. Okay, and now, um, uh, this is our second round. Then we're going to chain three and we're going to double crochet in each stitch around and we're going to do that actually for the next couple um, uh, for the next uh, four rounds. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll come back in a little bit when I'm on round six to show you um, the decreases that we're going to do. So hold on just a second. Okay, so here I am on round uh, six. I'm going to chain three, two and three. And now I'm going to um, yarn over and insert my hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over and pull up through two loops. And I'm going to yarn over and instead of pulling through the two loops that are on my uh, hook, I'm going to insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through all the remaining loops, the three loops on the hook. And this is a double crochet decrease. I've uh, decreased one stitch. Now I'm going to repeat that uh, five more times. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up through two loops, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, 
yarn over, go through all remaining three loops. Okay, let me repeat again. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go into the, instead of pulling through the two loops on the hook, yarn over and go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through remaining three loops, and repeat again. Yarn over, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into the next, instead of pulling through the two to finish the double crochet, we're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through remaining three. And yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull through two, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through three. And I should have one more decrease to make. Again, yarn over, go into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all three. And that's my five. And now I'm going to uh, join in the top of the turning chain. I should have eight stitches around. And you can see how that uh, kind of shaped the, the thumb, closed it off a little bit. And now our final uh, round, we're going to chain one. Now we're going to do single crochet decreases around. So um, we chained one. We're going to insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop. We're going to insert the hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. And now yarn over and pull through the three. That is our uh, single, crochet, single crochet decrease. So let's do that again. We're going to go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. And into the next stitch and pull up a loop. So we have three. Yarn over and pull through three, all three loops. Get my thread. Let's do that. We'll do that one last once or twice. Well, I think once more. Go in and pull up a loop. Go into the next stitch. Yeah, just once more. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three. Now you can see it's almost already uh, completely closed. And we are going to now uh, find our top of our turning chain. Go through the top of the turning chain and with the slip stitch. Okay, and we have this little round um, area here, which what we're going to do is go ahead and cut our yarn. Let me grab my scissors. Go ahead and cut your yarn, and as always, leave a nice long tail. Pull your yarn all the way through, pull it nice and tight. And if I stick my hand in here, Now the thumb is going to be nice and uh, loose and big. You could do depending on the length of your thumb and um, how comfortable you are, um, you know, how, how loose you want to. Instead of doing five rounds, if you have a shorter thumb, instead of doing five rounds of double crochets, you could do four rounds or three rounds of crochets and then your decrease round um, to make the thumb um, shorter if you need it. 
but again, um, it's, a, it's a wash mitt. It's not supposed to be super form fitting. So here I am, um, finally my last little bit. Let me just tell you that. Let me get a um, tapestry needle. And you're just going to um, do it with a little running stitch around the top of the thumb there. Thread my You're just going to go around um, each of these stitches and catch the outside of each one. And then pull, pull it tight. And then once you've pulled it tight, then what you're going to do is just dive right back down through the center or wherever you can get it into um, the thumb to the inside. To close that off. Now on yours, you you um you don't have to do the thumb before you finish the whole hand. I just uh, did it that way so that I could show you the thumb. But um, the pattern actually has you finish the mitt all the way up to your wrist and then come back and pick up and do the thumb last. But I just wanted to show you what that was going to, um, how to assemble that before. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my, um, finish the rest of this so that you can see what it, um, what it looks like all completed. So I'll be back in a bit for that. Okay, so I've um, worked the additional rounds um, 16 through 19. Now I'm going to stick my hand in here and see if it is far enough up my um, wrist. And I see it comes just barely where my wrist bone is, and that's a little um, shorter than I'd like it to be. So I'm going to do one more round of double crochets and then I'll do my two rounds of single crochet before finishing off. So um, that's really all you'll have to do on yours so that you can get a mitt. And actually, you know, this is a wash mitt and we're using double crochets, but you could substitute the double crochets for single crochets and also do um, uh, oven mitt if uh, out of uh, cotton as well. So okay, that's the tutorial for the uh, picking up the thumb and working it um, on this knit with the uh, commentary on how to adjust it for size. My, my hands are large, so the double crochets work really well. But if you have small hands, um, you could do a few, a couple uh, fewer rows. Uh, or if you have uh, larger hands like myself and you need to add uh, one row, you can do that too if you have longer fingers. And again, it's a wash knit. It's not supposed to be uh, form fitting. You should have some wiggle room for your fingers in there. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next class and um, hopefully I'll be seeing some finished mitts. Thanks for watching.